Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy Lenny and today we are working on cars again. Uh, right now we are doing Eric's Kia Optima light change. We're doing some wacky things with the door panel here. Got some zip ties. But yeah, we've got some light strips that are Bluetooth controlled. Putting them in there. And then also hooking them around the speaker grill so you can see the colors through the speaker and we've got zip ties. Alright guys, so we're going to show you how to take apart Kia Optima door panels at the same time. Uh, it's actually really simple according to Eric. So, let's see how it's done. How do you go about taking apart this door panel? Well, in inside here there's this little tab that you pull and a screw. Inside here there's a tab you pull and a screw. And then at the very bottom there's these two little handles right here. There's a handle right there. Mm -hmm. And right there. And you just pull on them and the whole thing pops off. Alrighty. Sounds pretty simple. Let's get started. So first things first, we're just gonna pop out the screw that's inside the handle. little pop tab pops open just like that and then you've got your Phillips head <coughs> and you just unscrew that same thing here as well let's get that in focus there we go you just pop that with a flat head or something somewhere and then you take out the screw and then you just pop the rest of those tabs out and you're done So once you've got those two screws out, make sure you put them somewhere safe so you won't lose them, because we're going to be putting those back afterwards. In this case, we're just throwing them in the cup holder. And it's just a pull out. Cool. And it just pulls the whole door panel off. You also need to remove this mirror panel without breaking it. Without breaking it. So pull softly and it comes right out. Now what you can do is apply pressure on each one of the little points. Um, there's what a couple tabs on each side. Yeah, there's probably five. And then you lift upwards and pull off. Now from here <coughs> you've got some disconnect cables. So disconnect the first one there. The second one is there. That's and it. that's it. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take off the door handle and there's what five, six screws? Yeah something like that. All around this door handle. This one's a problem child over here. The one closest to the cables is uh, kind of difficult to remove. But once we get that out, uh, you just apply some pressure, don't push too hard, and kind of just finagle it out because it has some plastic tabs that kind of lock into place. At the top. And then after that, we'll get to installing the second door panel lighting. Alright, so now what we got going on is we're going to pull out the little tube that was on this one. Theory. A little plastic tube that carries the light from the light source, which is about here up to there. There it is. Just pops up and then it slides right up. Easy as that. And now, put the new one in. I'm going to put the new ones in. So here's the kit we got. See the front of that? It's the automotive 24 inch smart lighting starter kit. It has two LED strips inside with a controller and it connects to Bluetooth to your phone automatically. No hassle. You can get one with four LEDs. Uh, you can get them with other options, but since we're only putting two in anyway, uh, not a big deal. And I'll link that in the description below. Check out that kit, looks good. So basically what we're gonna end up doing is we're just gonna feed the wire through these little tabs here, 
up into where the other light sits and then we're going to tape it down and then we're going to put one into the grill as well for the speaker and then we're going to cut this wire here this is a power wire that goes to the original light so we're going to cut it right down the middle uh, tape up one side and I believe that side would be this side mm -hmm. uh, closest to where the light sits and then we're going to splice the wires to the other side because that's the power source since this comes with a hard wire cable uh, it's very hassle free you just cut here make sure you um, strip your wires on this side for the power strip on the other side for the power as well connect them with either butt splices or any other means uh, you can use electrical tape and there you go that's it we're just going to tuck the wires we're going to put the controller in here uh, it comes with the 3m tape so double-sided velcro tape we put it right here and then run all of our lines along and it'll look good and then it'll be done all right so we're snipping this now give her a little snip might need some uh, scissors excusers for that Boom. All right. So after you peel back this felt connecting, whoop, the felt um, insulator, you've got your two wires. And then you can tape up the other two, just shove them somewhere. They'll get forgotten, lost forever. But these two are important because they will power with the hard wire this controlling device. Oops. Select the right gauge. I think this is what 12 18 18 gauge give her a little strip boom negative wire stripped now positive And then we'll do the same for the controller wires, which are right here. So you'll notice on these cables that one of them is black and white, and the other one is just black. And the Very black important. and white one, mm -hmm. the black and white one goes straight to the red, and the black one goes straight to black. Got our box of butt slices here. And all you want to do is take your wire clamps, crimp the red side to the splice connector, and then crimp the black and white side to the other side of that. And then you'll have a firm connection. Boom. Give it a little tug, see if it stays, and it does. to the other side now. Now those both sides are crimped now. Go ahead and take your black and white, put that to the red. Slide it right in there and crimp once again. Easy. Nice and tight connection. Now just slip the other one in. Give her a little crimp. And the whole wiring process is done. Pretty simple process. Now all there's left to do is to tuck all of the wiring, mount the controller, put the door panel back, and we'll be good to go. Let's tape up those light strips. For cable management, we're going to go ahead and electrical tape these two butt splices together just so they stay together and the wires don't slip out. Alright, so 
the first LED strip is in, we put we tuck them under under there and back here. And the wire runs out somewhere. <laughs> it runs up there. So yeah, you tuck this wire behind the door panel, this cover panel, and then you just slide that all the way through. Not quite much yet. And then the second one will go in that speaker grill and we'll just 3M tape it. The beauty of this kit is that it comes with a 3M pad. It's Velcro. It's double sided and it's Velcro. And so we're going to use that to stick it right into the door panel so we don't have any worries about it since it's Bluetooth anyway. And it's already hardwired into the stock components of the door panel. stick, press and hold. <laughs> now we'll just go ahead and remove the sticky side from the other side and stick that right into the door panel and that'll be mounted. And then we'll just wire tuck everything. Perfect. Alright, getting to the final steps here. I'm just gonna zip tie all of these wires together, all bundled up nice and clean. And then slap this door panel back on, and we'll have lighting. Get her a little sleep. And there she is. Alright, for this step, you're gonna do exactly what you did exactly the opposite but in the opposite order we're going to first put on the door handle because that's the hardest part and for that i'll just be holding this um, it's easier with two people but you can probably make do with yourself uh, just a longer process but since it's really dark in here we'll just cut to it being done all right guys we have both of them installed so we've got bottom here got this here and same on the other side this speaker is um, just adapting to the music so the light adapts to the music which is pretty cool uh, got this one also doing it so that's pretty dope I can also make it a different color and like I said all of this stuff will be linked in the description below so make sure you go pick it up and if you guys need help with this rerun this video as many times as you need to uh, it's pretty simple and yeah that's it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in another video